Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Green Hell gameplay. We're picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode, except that we have picked up a new friend as we slept last night. We picked up a worm, and unfortunately we have nothing with which to pick it out from under our skin. So that is going to be a top priority today, finding some bones or some fish bones to get rid of this worm. We have a bandage standing by to bandage it up once we get rid of it. But we have to kill an animal or a fish to get the bones that we're going to need to get it out. This is probably going to be... Two of them. As I was saying, this is probably going to be the last episode for us for a while. The game is still in very early access, as I've said, and we just wanted to kind of get the flavor of it and see what was what before uh, setting it aside for a while and letting it cook a little bit, little bit longer, putting it on the back burner and doing a little bit of cooking. And then check back in in a couple of months and see how it's coming along. But we've really only explored the eastern side of the map at this point. There's a fair amount of map left to see. And I would like to... We have tobacco. Uh, I would like to get us over to an air some of the areas that we haven't seen yet because I have been over there since the last time we talked. And there's some interesting stuff over there for us. Ooh, a nut. Another nut. Do we have do we have two worms now? We are low on water, low on protein, low on lipids. I should probably eat up those nuts right now. For the lipids. And then is there water in my coconuts? There is. No, we didn't want to craft with it. We want to drink it. And drink that. And drink that. And get rid of the spoiled macaw meat and the spoiled mushrooms taking up space in our inventory, in our backpack. And the spoiled f unknown fruit. Oh, you know, I read something about this online. I think everybody's stuff spoiled when they updated the game. Uh, the game was just updated, as I think I mentioned. Oh, yeah, my coconuts are spoiled, too. I didn't even know the coconuts could spoil, but that's kind of huge. So all four of these coconuts are going to be no good to us now? Yeah. Yeah, there's strange stuff going on with the inventory. Um, we just picked up a bunch of stuff that I thought we had gotten rid of. So this coconut's going to be no good. This coconut's going to be no good. This coconut at least has some water we can drink, and now it's going to be no good. we still got the bananas we can eat. So we'll eat those for breakfast, and hope to find some more food along the way here. Because we are heading over to the western side of the map. That's where all the cool stuff is. Well, that's where some of the cool stuff is. We are actually on a road right now. Huh. This road looks familiar. No, this isn't... No, this isn't what we want. Uh, we're doing okay on rocks. I don't need to pick up any rocks. I should probably be picking up sticks. And keeping our eye out for any little critters that we can fling a spear at. There's a little critter right there. Two little critters, to be exact. Alright, so let's get our spear up. Right? We do have a spear. Yes, okay. Now these, these guys are really pretty ridiculously easy to kill, in fact, so... Yeah, just poke it with a spear. <coughs> and it's down. Retrieve our spear and harvest the peccary. It'll be nice to have the meat from this peccary, but what we really want 
what we're really interested in is the bones. Because we can harvest the bone for bone needles that we can then use to dig that nasty little worm out. Alright, he's gone. Now we bandage it up nice and tight to avoid infection. And we're good to go. Let me just harvest this other bone so that these stack. And we'll continue making our way west. Go west, young men and women. Can I get up here? <gasps> I'd rather be on the road. Thank you. I guess we'll just keep our spear out. Hey, hey, what have we here? Looks like somebody took a tumble off that bad bridge. Good yummy stuff for us here. Snacks, candy bars, it's a canteen. They call it a bidon for some reason. And it looks like that's it, but that was a good haul from that little overturned... <gasps> Spider. He's right there. See him? On the rock. Good haul from the overturned vehicle there. Still trying to head west. And my little watch icon is warning me what? That we're, we're very low on protein. Well, we've got the peccary meat, so... As soon as we stop, we can cook that up and get a bunch of protein off of that. Heading westish, okay. So we're skirting west along the northern edge of the map here. Oh, there's a little little creature back in there. But I think we've got everything we need on the food front. Anyway, this cave. Did we find some obsidian in here. Maybe find some scorpions and spiders in here too. Let's be careful. There's obsidian. There's. Oh, that was regular stone, which we don't need. We've got too much stone now. But what have we here? A lovely little oasis. Isn't this charming? I'm going to eat those up right away. Okay. Hydration and carbs from those fruits. Got some dirty water. Another cave with more obsidian in it. This looks like a nice secluded little oasis. You could make a nice little camp back in here. Set up a couple of traps along the entrance here. Now let's keep pushing west. Got to check these stumps because I have found larva on the stumps that is good for something. I'm not sure exactly what. yourself. We have plenty of bandages, but I am still trying to keep my eye out for the Molinaria plants. We never have too many bandages, really. Shall we do a little exploring? What's through here? 
regular stone. That was just regular stone. And you do have to move kind of carefully through these caves because, as I said, there are scorpions and spiders back in here. Wow, I'm totally set on obsidian now. Got more obsidian than I think I can possibly use. Alright, I think that's it for this cave. Wasn't much in here. Do I have no... I have no axe on me right now? Did we use up our axe and not build another one? We did. Oh, there's Molinaria, speak of the devil, and speaking of the devil of me not having an axe, let's just duck back in here for a second and make an axe. So, we need stone. I got weight. Oh no, we don't need the stone even, because we have all this obsidian to work with. I'm just going to dump. I, I don't know why I picked up all this stone. No, I don't want the leaves. Alright, so stone and... Stick and rope. Let's make an obsidian axe. And now, let's see, how many bandages do we have? Do we even... Should I... We've got, we've got four bandages and three Molinaria leaves, so that's seven bandages total. I don't think I need to be picking up any more Molinaria right now. Are we still heading west? Ish? West-ish. So what we're looking for on the west side of the map is a big river. The big river running north to south across the map. Once we hit that river, we'll know we are close to a destination. <laughs> ah, I got bitten! Oh! Freaking <laughs> snake! Should I kill the snake? Yes, he bit me. Let's kill him. Okay. I guess we're not killing the snake. Um, uh, I gotta... Let me slap one of these tobacco bandages on. Stand by. I gotta craft it first. So, put a regular bandage, leaf bandage down, and some tobacco, and craft a tobacco dressing. Now we need to inspect our limbs. Find the snake bite. What are you trying to tell me the snake bites on my arm? Okay, fine. Whatever. That is a very flexible, tall snake. But, okay. Alright, now we are exhausted and about to pass out. Um, and there's the river right there. But we're not going to make it anywhere before we pass out due to this snake bite. It, it shouldn't be the end of the world for us, though. We'll just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got bitten by a snake. I get it. I feel better. Yeah, I feel better. How much time did we lose there? It's only noon. We are down to almost no protein, though. Now, where I really want to take us is back up in there. But, considering we just got bitten by a snake. I think it's actually going to be easier for us to go down here to the next location, what was going to be the second location that I was going to bring us to um, before I got bitten by a snake, that is, and now we have to adjust our plans, and I'm taking us there. Can you see there in the distance? There's a structure. So let's try to get over there before we pass out again. And I remember when I was a kid growing up, and there was this this Navy SEAL game, and, and they tried to make it like you could hide in the grass and crawl through the grass and stuff, and the grass was just so unrealistic. And I remember thinking, I wonder if it'll ever be possible for them to create an environment that's super realistic in terms of grass and foliage. And man, look at this. This is pretty damn realistic. 
We're about to pass out again, but there's a hammock right <sighs> over there. Nope. <sighs> oh, gosh. We almost made it to the hammock. All right. Well, we've got a sickness indicator again. i got to check myself for baddies for something that's wrong. Oh, leech. Oh, that's all. We just picked up a leech. Okay. So, uh, yes, thank you, someone, for pointing this out. I actually figured it out on my own eventually. But um, So you see there's the, the thermometer indicator in the lower left-hand corner. That is actually counting down. So we'll have a fever until that goes away. And that's just going to drastically reduce our stamina, etc. But here we have a hammock, which I think is probably the best thing to sleep on these days because at this point in development we are still getting worms and stuff even sleeping on elevated beds so like log beds or log sh or palm shelters you can still you can still get wake up with worms even sleeping up off the ground all right now i know it's the middle of the day but i got to lie down here and take care of my fever so we're taking a little nappy poop be right back. <sighs> Dream of peccaries. All right. Our, our fever has gone away. We are back up to, you know, pretty good health. Uh, we are low on, very low on protein, low on water, low on, mm, low on lipids. Um, but I think we can find ways to deal with all that without too much trouble here. The only thing I'm worried about now is water because we have, we got rid of all those coconuts. We threw, I threw away all those coconuts because it didn't seem like there was going to be any way to um, harvest them without eating all that spoiled coconut meat. So I can drink this orange juice, that'll help. And I could fill up this bidon if we had anything to catch this rain in. New entry water filter. Oh, that's what this is. This is a water filter. So I guess you put dirty water in at the top and catch it at the bottom. But I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Can I put the... I can't put the... It's not letting me put the canteen under there. I guess we have to find something else to catch the water in. In the meantime, let's just explore around the campsite here. We may find some more goodies. I think that's the tobacco plant. Or maybe that's the unknown herb. Yeah, I will say it, it, it does feel like the, the jungle should be a little bit louder at night. There should be more calls like that macaw we just heard. Down here is another blueprint that we can learn. This is a fish trap, and there's a piranha in it. That's good. So we'll be able to eat that up. Should we make a fire and cook up our peccary meat and our piranha? Just make sure we got everything. I think we got everything here at this location. All right, um, except for the charcoal that's around here, but I haven't really discovered a good use for the charcoal yet. I guess I'll pick it up um, and make a new fire. Notebook. Fires, small fire. <gasps> Out of small sticks. Oh, great, a coconut. Fantastic. It's exactly what we needed to fix our <gasps> water problem here. Eat this up, and then we'll have the bowls to collect water in. Except that we're full. Um, 
inventory is full again because I'm terrible at inventory management. Man, we got all this obsidian we don't need. More stone we don't need. Uh, the tobacco, I can condense this down a little bit by doing some crafting here. Let's just craft up some bandages, make some tobacco bandages. And this stuff will all stack a bit. See, this is the way to do it. Boy, spend your evening... Um, I guess we do need more tobacco. Spend your evening doing the crafting, and then be out exploring during the day. That's the way to do it. Alright, where's that other bowl? And then there was another coconut right here, wasn't there? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to that one. I'll drop my two bowls down here for now. In case it starts to rain. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I thought I had my mic muted. Um, um, um. I got a lot of feathers and no bow and arrow. No bow. And I'm not a big bow user anyway. I'll just hang on to a few feathers and then clear the rest out. All right, great. Here's some rain. What are my what kind of shape are my carbs in? Can I afford to I can afford to eat that other coconut and put down the the other halves of the shells here. Oh, I ate a candy bar by accident. Okay, great. So we're collecting the water in the coconut bowls. Now if I take my canteen, I can fill... Oops, I didn't mean to drop it. Hold on. If I pick up the canteen... Ah, uh, stop! I can now fill it off of these bowls. So now it's got four water in it. Now it's got... Oops, I did, did it the wrong way. I emptied it into the coconut. Now it's got nine water in it. Let's get 19 and 29. Great. Have I picked up any new sticks? No. Oh yeah, wandering around in the jungle at night is exactly what I wanted to be doing. This isn't dangerous at all. Are you tobacco? <coughs> Or are you the unknown herb? Oh, good. That was tobacco. Excellent. I'm, I'm going to chop down a, tr a little tree here. Rather than go hunting around for a million sticks. Yeah, I know. You're tired. You're tired. You only got half a night's sleep. Stick. Okay, uh, I can harvest this stick to make little sticks. And little sticks. Now, I've also read that keeping a fire next to the place that you're sleeping can help deter worms and such. But the problem is that the rain puts out the fire, you know, and it's just... I don't know. It's really hard to keep a fire going overnight, in my experience. Um, now we need some dry leaf. Oh, are we gonna, we're not going to have enough energy to do this. All right, we're going to have to sleep before starting the fire now because we're too out of energy. And there are mushrooms that give you a big jolt of energy, but we don't have any on us. So let's just go ahead and sleep the rest of the night through, and I'll see you in the morning. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, we picked up a friend overnight. Ah, I keep doing that wrong. This is what I want. Oh my gosh, we picked up a massive worm. Look at the size of that guy. Get out of me, worm. Alright, it looks like that's all we picked up. Our, we're getting that watch indicator again, which means check your vitals. Alright, we're totally out of protein. We really need to eat some protein, so I've got to get this fire going now. Oh, my peccary meat spoiled already? Well, that was the protein we were going to eat. One freaking day, and it spoiled? <sighs> so much for protein. I, we have the piranha body. I don't think that's going to give us much. We're going to have to find some more meat, guys. Hey, you know what? That can we picked up here is going to have meat. But... For now, let us harvest the piranha body. Oh, please don't start to rain. I just got this fire going. Do not... You know what? I, I'm sorry. I, I, I've i been around campfires my entire life. Rain like this does not put out campfires like that. That's uh, an inane game mechanic that within two seconds of it starting to rain that the fire is out. That's, that's a little ridiculous, if you ask me. All right, let's check out that can. Now, the can's going to give us protein. 15, anyway. 15 carbohydrates and 10 fats. So that was good. Now, if the rain would stop, I will cook up the rest of that. Should we go over and check the fish trap again? Maybe there's more fish in there since we it's been a day. Yeah, it looks like there is. There's another fish in there. Yeah, fantastic. Let's harvest that up. Oops. So you see over here there's a stack of fish bones. We got three fish bone each from the piranhas. You can also use those to dig out worms if you don't have any bone needles. All right, as soon as this fire, s the wo the, as soon as the rain stops, we'll st get that fire going. But this is a nice little location, despite the fact that the hammock being up off the ground was still no guarantee that we wouldn't get a worm. That, that's got to be a bug. Because there have to be things up off the ground. It should not be common anyway to get worms. Can you stop raining now? Well, in the meantime, we can go out here and fill up our bidon. All right, we got 69 water in the bank now. That's good. I think we have one more piece of dried leaf here. Yep. Oh, I've got a leech. At least one. Alright. Let's get our meat on there. Piranha meat raw. Piranha meat raw. Now let's get the bugs off us. Uh, leeches aren't bugs. What are leeches? Anybody know what a leech is? Considered a... An ins no, it wouldn't be an insect. Wah! They're all over me! Get off! <sighs> oh God. <sighs> Ugh. Wow, our peccary meat spoiled really quickly. Nice little location here, though, huh? All right, now here's a four-pronged spear that we can use to uh, to fish. 
But we've got an obsidian spear, and I, I really don't need to be carrying two spears. Um, fishing is not really going to be our main source of sustenance here. All right, good. Got some piranha meat and some piranha meat. Let's eat it up. 22 proteins, 10 energy, and sanit 5 sanity for each of those. So we're in good shape. We needed that little energy boost, actually, because it's only... You know, we're halfway through the day, but we're pretty tired already. All right. <coughs> ah. All right, we're going to bring this with us, and we're going to go check out another location on the other side of the river. Which means we'll probably be getting nibbled on by piranhas and pick up a leech or two. Maybe not. Hey, lucky. And now we're heading back up in here. Because here is an abandoned village with all sorts of good stuff. A bamboo smoker, so you light a fire under here, and then you put your meat up there, and it smokes the meat so it lasts a lot longer. Here's a campfire that's already set up. Coconut bowl, it's just lying there. Arowana meat, spoiled. A torch, we'll take that. Bunch of coconuts. An elevated shelter. Now here's a medium bamboo shelter, so now we know how to make a medium bamboo shelter. And can save the game, obviously. And is that it? Oh, there's a little bit more here. Ah, a bow! Fantastic. And you know what we need to make use of the bow is some arrows, and we have all those bird feathers. So why don't, now that we have a bow, why don't we go ahead and make some bird feathers. Uh, for that, we are going to need a bunch of small sticks. So I'm going to break these big sticks down. up a bunch of sticks. Now, if we go to crafting, cra crafting, um, get two feathers. Is it two feathers and two sticks, or two feathers and one stick? I forget. One stick and two feathers to craft an arrow. And do it again. There's no shelter to get out of the rain here, but that's not terrible. Alright, should we put our bowls down as long as it's raining? Fill up our bidon. Now we could... what time is it? What time is it? Ah, we are very thirsty. Yeah, it's... it's four o'clock. Um, we could probably make it to the next destination before nightfall, but I don't think we have to. It's going to be faster for us to go back to the other camp that we were just at on the other side of the river and then leave from there in the morning. So why don't we do that? I'm 
I'm not meaning to pick these up, it's just happening. I don't even have to pick them up since I have so many regular coconuts on me now. I'll just leave those here. Alright, so we learned everything we were going to learn at this location. We learned the blueprint for the medium bamboo shelter. We learned the blueprint for the smoker. Bamboo smoker. Uh, we found a bow. We found a bunch of sticks. <laughs> Not that that really helps us, but... Can't hurt to go ahead and harvest these. And then back at the other... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Back at the other camp, we learned the recipe for the water purifier. And the fish trap. So, we've seen two good locations now. And tomorrow we'll see a third. But, there's an anthill over there. Oh, and some, some fresh fruit. Try to get the fruit without picking up any ants. I feel like we need the liquid from that fruit, like, now. So, I don't want it to, them to decay. I'm going to eat them right now. And now we'll head back across the river. Mmm, more fruits. Uh, our liquid's getting better. Our carbs are maxed. Uh, we need lipids and we need protein still. Boy, that peccary meat. That was a waste, huh? Well, I mean, it, it, it. if we hadn't been bitten by the snake, I'm sure we could have gotten here to this location and gotten that cooked before it spoiled. It was just running into that snake slowed us down. Oh, should we... Well, we can test out our new bow tomorrow. I don't think there's going to be much point. Why? Oh, wait. Is there... Is that a creature over there? Nope, that's just a tuft of grass. Alright. Did we catch another fish in the fish trap? We did. A peacock bass? Seems like it'd be a good thing to have. And I think we've still got enough energy to get another fire going tonight. Ah, shoot. As soon as I say that, though, I'm going to have to go out and find some some dry leaves to harvest, or we can harvest the tobacco leaf for fiber and use that to start the fire. Now let's harvest our peacock bass. And use a tool. To create fire. Oh, come on, man. Oh, okay, good. Whew. He did it. I thought he was too tired. I was going to say, you're not that tired. Oh, that's going to be good eating, huh? Save the rest of this. Um, the snacks are going to give us a bunch of lipids. Should we go ahead and eat some snacks? We don't need the carbs, but we need the fats. So we'll take the fats. And then this honeycomb, you know what we can do with that is we can craft... Now remember we got that by knocking down that hive in the last episode. But we can craft that with a leaf bandage to make a honey dressing. Now if we do encounter a another anthill and get a rash from it, we slap this honey dressing on it, and it's very good for the rash. It'll make it go away really quickly. Our fresh fish is cooked. Eat that up for 27 proteins and 10 energy. Wow, that's going to keep us up all night, which is fine. It's going to be a beautiful night, you can tell. This is a good looking game. I like the way they've done the water here. So 
So this is the Unity engine. And I think they've done a good job making it look really pretty. Should we call it a night? Sleep the rest of the night through? What time is it? Oops, what time is it? All right, lots of protein now. Plenty of carbs, good water, good lipids. We're in good shape. It's only 7 o'clock, 7.30. Let's try to stay up a little longer. Restore some sanity by sitting by the fire. And if it starts to rain, we'll put down some bowls to catch. Oh, we don't have any bowls. Um, I guess we could do one of these. Drink it. Harvest it. Again, it's a waste of carbs because we don't really... We don't really need the carbs right now. We just need the shells. All right, and with that, now that our fire's out, there's really no point in staying awake any longer. Um, unless it's to listen to the rainfall here in the jungle. Okay, enough of that. Let's have a little sip of water before we hit the hay. And nighty night. Sweet dreams. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. We woke up before sun up, but I think that's fine. collect a little more? We did. I don't suppose we caught another fish overnight, did we? Nope. No new fishes. And what time it is? It's five in the morning. Alright, sun's coming up. Let's go ahead and head out. We are just going to head south from here. South that way. Maybe we wait for the sun to come up a little bit more. Sunshine, are you coming up? Back into the deadly jungle, heading south. It's another coconut. We're, we're fine on coconuts right now. More tobacco, plant. Another little edible creature. Call him breakfast. Sorry, Birdie. Did I startle you? Ooh, uh, hello. More peccaries or what have you. Tapirs. I think those are the tapirs. Um. Should we see if there's a cave behind these waterfall? Behind this waterfall? Many of these waterfalls have caves behind them. Yep. Probably nothing we actually need back in here. We got tons of obsidian. Yeah, we're fine. Now I think we want to stay on this side of the river and continue south. And we will eventually hit a road. Not it. You still heading south? Yeah.
Oh, picked up a leech. Let's get him off. Yeah, that's why I don't like using that scroll wheel, th that, uh, that action wheel, is because there's a bug where every time you try to activate it, he makes this <gasps> sound, which is kind of <sighs> alarming. You still heading south? We are. Is this the road? Awesome! We found the road we were looking for. Now we continue heading south on the road. Snake. I see you back in there. Ass. Another beautiful day in the rainforest. So this last update they just pushed for this, they fixed a bunch of bugs. Uh, they didn't really add anything new, as far as I could see. Um, do you remember in the last episode, though, we, we found this place where we could crouch and go under this rock, and we ended up in a weird place that looked like it wasn't supposed to be part of the map and we weren't supposed to be there? They've closed that off now, so you cannot accidentally wander outside of where you should be on the map. Oh, look at that's pretty. Nicely done. The lights, the sun, the rays coming through, the shadow and the light. Really nice. See this stuff here? Nothing there. But it's a good indication that you are on the right track, and in fact, we are almost to our destination. And here we are. Now this is a drug processing facility, but it's abandoned. There's no one here. Um, there are new blueprints to learn here. Look at this, a rain catcher. This is a water collector. So you put like a, a coconut bowl or, or a pot down under there and you catch the water being collected by the leaves. So now we can build one of those for ourselves. There are other things to learn here too. In fact, before we go into the facility, let me take you back here and show you, if I can, try to find another thing that we can learn how to build back in here. So you come to the curve in the road and you keep going straight, I think. Is that how it works? Uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna get us lost. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna get us lost back in here. This is not smart. So he keeps doing it. And this isn't smart. Let's let's keep going. Yeah, I've not. This is not. I've not really done this correctly. Um, okay, so let's just head back to that camp. Uh, there is a trap, a, a killer spring trap back in here. I mean, it's, it's actually called the killer trap. And... I think what you... I think what you do is you come back here to this, to the curve in the road here, and instead of following the road around, you keep going straight. And there's a little path back in there that takes you to where the, the spring trap is. 
And that's one of the best traps for catching small game. Yeah, I forget exactly where it is, but it, it's back in there somewhere. All right, so the rest of the drug processing facility here. Got some food. Mattresses to sleep on. Snacks. Another snack. So there's a hive nearby. Should probably get rid of that. Sounds pretty close. Man, I'm tempted to knock it down just so I don't hear that buzzing anymore. Is it close enough that I can just... ...prang it right now? Yeah, there it is over there. Just for the sake of my ears, because that buzzing sounds really annoying. Give it a second for the bugs to fly away. Ah, no room. No room in the pack. Uh, we got so many fish things, we don't need the bone needles anymore. Is that enough room? No. Of course not. Look, it just seems like there's plenty of space here. Oh, because it... Wow, this fruit is... The fruit did not used to spoil this quickly. I think that's a change, and I, I don't like it. And the reason it won't fit is because it goes in with the food, and i got too much food now. that up, freeing up some space in my inventory. Alright, now can we pick this up? No, of course not. Go ahead and eat up a snack. Now we can pick it up. Great. Pretty high on the list of things you don't want to do in a survival situation, crossing moss-covered, rotted logs like that. But hey, this is realism. All right, some other stuff for us to find and learn here. Look, a pot, a metal pot, some charcoal we don't need, a wooden spoon we don't need, more chips we don't have room for. Um, and now what I'll do is I'll take this pot over to the water collector and I'll put it down underneath the water collector. And that'll fill up really, really quickly. Did that work? Yeah, there we go. Alright, and then that'll be full in no time. We can come back over and drink our fill. I don't think there's much else in here. Well, this is where they chop up the coca leaves. And then this is where they mix them with the chemical over here. Yeah, I think we pretty much got everything there is to get at this little camp, but the things that there are are really, really great. That metal pot can be a huge boon. Now we can make um, soups and stews, which are really, really filling and healthy and good for you. Oh, a rusty machete. Uh, do we have room to pick up a rusty machete? No, because we got that torch, which we're never going to use. We get rid of that. Now we can pick up the rusty machete. Yeah, I don't see us using that torch. So 
a little path off here. Let's see where this goes. Maybe this is how you get to that trap. <gasps> Snake! There's the trap. Look at this bad boy. A killer trap. Hold E to arm. Now you put a little piece of... Um, some kind of bait down there. Shoot, we don't have anything that would be good to use for bait. Um, I'm not sure what it is and what isn't good to use for bait, but when I tried this before, I just put a nut on there. Uh, one of those strange nuts. And when I came back, there was a dead creature there that had been killed by this nasty spike trap. Uh, should we put... Will it take a snack? Yeah, apparently. Apparently, peccaries and tapirs like potato chips. So we'll just leave that there for a while. Come back and check on it in a bit. So... If we look back to where we started on the very first day with that nice little uh, oasis, that little safe area that we found and camped out on the very first day, if you remember. And then the next day after we died due to, f to a fever, the next day we found a cave with a, a crashed plane outside of it. And then we found that broken elevator where we spent the night and now we've seen an abandoned village uh, back on the other side of the river and then we found that little fishing shack area where we spent the night and now we're down here to this drug processing facility we've basically seen all the major points of interest on the map at this point uh, obviously, they're still adding more, and I'm sure that there'll be some kind of story to flesh these uh, locations out eventually. But for the time being, we have pretty much seen just about all there is to see on the map. Should we try out our new bow and arrow? I've never used the bow and arrow before. I don't know how it works. Hold left click. We can only do it for a short period before getting tired. Come back! Come back, little creeter! I wanted to shoot you with an arrow! Is that him? Is that his butt? <laughs> oh! Well, I hit him, but it didn't didn't kill him. I guess it takes more than one arrow to kill these guys. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, he ran away. <sighs> so more than one arrow, or one spear, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with the spear. I'll just stick with the spear. He got away. Oh, this is nice. Another little nice little oasis area. You could do some good fishing here. I'm sure. Set up a little base back in there. Sweet. Sweet. Alright guys, so... As I was saying, we've seen pretty much all the things there are to see on the map so far. And with that, I think we're going to call this an episode and we're going to set Green Hell aside for the time being and come check back in on it in a couple of months when it's a little more 
pulled together. We'll see what kind of progress they've made on it. <sighs> oh, that seems pointless. That, that seems like... The, the arrows just seem like more effort than they're worth, to be quite honest. Bow and arrow. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. And it'll do it for our little dabbling in green hell. Our little taste. Our little amuse-bouche, as it were. A little appetizer. And we'll check back in in a couple of months and see how it's coming along. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the Green Hell early, early, early access gameplay. And we'll get back to No Man's Sky. And uh, Frostpunk is releasing a new scenario tomorrow. So, new free scenario for us to play. So, I'm going to check back in on Frostpunk soon. Um, probably almost immediately. So, stay sane, survivors.